God bless everyone who's listening to me right about now. Remember this word, you have not clicked on it by mistake. God wants you to hear these powerful words. Now, my brothers and sisters, the word is do not be afraid. Do not even have doubt in your heart about the things of God. Because God is with you. Just be of good cheer and look to God. Whatever you are going through, whether it is a storm, whether it is pain, whether it is a frustration, be of good cheer. Because God has already overcome whatever you are going through. Whatever has come up against you, God has already become victorious over that thing. So can you trust God in your situation? My brothers and sisters, I would love to read to you a scripture that is in the book of Matthew chapter 14, verse 25 to 33. I repeat, Matthew chapter 14, verse 25 to 33. And it reads, now in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went to them, walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a ghost. And they cried out for fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them, saying, Be of good cheer. It is I. Do not be afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. So he said, Come. And when Peter had come down out of the boat, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw that the wind was boisterous, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried out, saying, Lord, Save me. And immediately Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him and said to him, O oh, you of little faith, why do you doubt? And when they got into the boat, the wind ceased. Then those who were in the boat came and worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. My brothers and sisters, what a powerful scripture to begin your day with. Remember, the word is do not be afraid and do not doubt in your heart. Don't that doubt in your heart. Now, the scripture starts by saying in verse 25, Now in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went to them walking on the sea. It was the fourth watch of the night i can't imagine how many watches of the night are there my brothers and sisters some of you maybe have been watching only two nights but these people it was the fourth watch of the night that tells you how you should watch that you should watch and pray because jesus is coming to you don't miss the voice of God. Remember, it was the fourth watch. That's why you see, God tells us, watch and pray. Do not sleep. Meant all to pray and not faint. This was the fourth watch. Some of you have been watching only for two watches of the night. And on the third watch, maybe on the second watch, you sleep off. You miss the voice of God. This was the fourth watch. And Jesus went to them. Jesus went to them walking on the sea. He is not limited by the waters. He went walking on the sea. Now the scripture says, And the disciples saw him walking on the sea, and they were troubled, saying, It is a ghost. And they cried out for fear. They were troubled because this thing had never happened to them. They were limited in their mindset, thinking that God cannot walk on water. They limited God. They had a perception that if someone walks on the sea, it is a ghost. 
But God can do the impossible to, to bring to you a miracle, to reach out to you. Now, the scripture says, But immediately Jesus spoke to them, saying, Be of good cheer. It is I. Do not be afraid. Do you see how Jesus uh, introduces himself? He says, but be of good cheer. It is I. Do not be afraid. God does not want you to be afraid in every situation. Don't move with fear. No matter how terrifying the people are around you. No matter how dangerous the situation could be. Or how painful. Don't be afraid. Walk in boldness. Go to that court case in boldness. Go out in boldness because you are an ambassador of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Fear is very dangerous in that fear will make you weak. Fear will give room for the enemy. Fear creates room for doubt. Now, in the verse 28 it says, And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it is you, command me to come on to come to you on the water and he said come and when peter had come down out of the boat he walked on the water to go to jesus but when he saw the wind was boisterous he was afraid and beginning to sink he cried out saying lord save me remember that peter had little faith that that little faith enabled him to walk on water. But when he saw the wind, remember that Peter was a professional. He was a fisherman. So he knew those winds. He had grown up seeing those winds. Maybe he had seen his friends drown in, the, in those winds. People that would never come out. And he lived on his experience. Rather than depending on God. He left his focus on God. The moment he put his eyes off God, he began to sink. Some of you, you have put your eyes off God. You were doing so well. But the moment you started focusing on your problem, the moment you started focusing on your haters, you began to do bad. You began to sink. Brothers and sisters, do not focus on the things around you. Focus on God and do not be afraid. This is the end of this word. I hope this word has been a blessing to you. Until next time, God bless you.